This is the BBC World News. Welcome you to tonight's news. We have a breaking story, and it's straight over to our mindfulness guru and master correspondent based in Manchester, Frankie. What can you tell us? Thanks for that, John. I can tell you, world leading universities are now getting us to sign up to sign up to what they are calling smell the popcorn programmed as it's the quickest and most efficient way to be in the moment and forget all your present worries and difficulties up to now it's not been socially acceptable <coughs> leading universe are saying we are just going to have to change the way we think and respond to people Publicity. Ah, farting. Thank you for breaking wind. Uh, sorry. Thank you for the breaking story, Frankie. And now straight over to our foreign affairs professor and correspondent, Maria Komponoski. Thank you, John. There is deadly silence and seriousness when one lets rip and I am literally not blowing hot air. Or am I? And is that not the point? For there is no doubt when you fart, you have your own attention and others' attention thinking, did people notice I farted? Or it's the silent, can I smell it? It really focuses the mind and all the other worries you were thinking about are lost in a fog created by you, your own brand. Who does not like a cheeky fart? Thanks, Maria. You really look like you enjoyed that. I'm sure there are some occasions when farting may not be welcome, even though farting focuses the mind. Let's go over to our food correspondent based in Canada, Debbie. Thanks, Maria and John. So I thought to test and see whether farting and dating built for better relationships when sharing a romantic meal. I was reminded, love is like a fart. If you have to force it, it's probably crap. You know, lovers often think the same and share moments. So I made a romantic meal for my husband and myself. And we sat down and we had a glass of wine and an appetizer. And then rather than suffer stomach cramps, I just let it rip. <laughs> Anyhow, it was a good job. We had oxygen masks nearby that really saved the night. Now over to our Indian correspondent and given the distance, Duck and Field, we cannot be sure of the internet connection. So let's see how we go. Dakshka, are you there? Yes, John, I'm here. And I can tell you, after speaking with friends in the UK and India, I can tell you, we perceive problems you have not even considered. For example, how long should your fart be? If it's too long, it may be considered vulgar. And too short, well, I may consider myself short-changed. Then, how long should I fart for? For example, should it be a poop? And it's gone. Or should a fart be at least four seconds for it to be considered acceptable? And how gassy should it be? Well, a mere whiff, an acknowledgement, or is it a hand over mouth and I feel like I'm gagging, um, considered to be a good fart? If I must leave the room, surely this is antisocial. I feel very strong about this. To such an extent, I'm writing a letter to my MP and sending her examples of what I consider a good fart to be. And to do so, I've prepared a most excellent curry to help with the process of mindfulness. Well, thank you, Dashke, and I'm sure we're all looking forward to a good curry. Let us leave the last word to our foreign correspondent, Roger. Roger. 
How do you think the continent will receive social farting in the new revolution of Smell the Popcorn? I think very well. I've been farting for years, such a long time. Small, tiny ones, and smelly and big. Big cacophony of fart sounds. Oh, beg my pardon, mind you. I feel so happy on one level. I could share that with you, but sad on another level as you are denied the fragrance as it lingers in the air. You know, I live with my cat and we both share French sardines, herb buttered snails. Cocovin and brown flakes in the morning and suddenly it hits me. Sorry, I was blown away. They say happiness comes from within and that's why farting feel so good. Remember to be mindful and in the moment and share for the benefit of others, your friends, your family, your popcorn and be proud and let your neighbours know you did it for their benefit.